Okay, in this video we're going to learn how to create concentric circles in Desmos. And in doing so we're going to learn the equation of a circle, we're going to focus on the unit circle as well. So let's get going. Okay, so the equation for a circle is the following. x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. Now let's talk a little bit about what these numbers mean. The h and the k is the center of the circle. Okay, so let's just type that in here. h and the k equals the center of the circle. So the r is actually the radius of the circle. And remember the radius is the distance between the center of the circle to the outer circumference. Now we're going to do something really simple. We're going to create the unit circle first. And remember that the unit circle is centered at 0, 0 and has a radius of 1. So how would we fill in that information into this equation? All right. Well, we know that the center of the circle is 0, 0. So we're going to say x minus 0, again quantity squared. Whoops, let me just do that real quickly there. Sorry about that. Let's, there we go. And quantity squared plus parentheses y minus 0 because again it's the x and the y here. This is the x value, this is the y value, are both at 0. So according to our information, the center of the circle should be at 0, 0. And we want the radius to be 1. And remember, it needs to be squared. But 1 squared is still just 1. So we're just going to say 1 squared. And sure enough, there is, our cons uh, there is our unit circle. At 0, 0 is the center, and it goes out to 1. And there it is. 1, 0 there, 0, 1 there, negative 1, 0, and 0, negative 1. Now, we could also write this without the zeros in there and without the square there. And we'll just get x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. And of course, it just did the exact same circle. Now it's green. But we had the exact same circle. Okay. Now remember, concentric circles are circles that have the same center, but their circumference or their radius is different. So let's go ahead and continue to use this formula. And we're going to say x minus 1. Oh, no, excuse me, x minus 0 again. Actually, you know what? Let's just go with the x squared plus y squared equals 0, because we want our center to still be at 0, 0. So we're going to say x squared plus y squared equals, now instead of 1 squared, we're going to say 2 squared. Okay, And there it is. Our center is at 0, 0 again. 2 squared, our radius is 2. Sure enough, it goes from 0 to 2. So now our point out here is 2, 0. And then we have concentric circles. Let's just do one more for fun. So we're going to say x cubed, or excuse me, x squared plus y squared, y squared is equal to 3. We're just going to go up 1 each time, and we're going to say squared again. And there is our circle, again with 0, 0 as our center point, and a radius of 3. Okay? I hope that was helpful. Um, remember that the unit circle has the radius of 1, so we just left it there. And remember, it didn't make any difference whether we had just 1 or 1 squared. It still stayed the same but it did follow these h and the k. Now, in another video, I'll show you how if we put different numbers here instead of 0 and 0, how the center will move elsewhere and we'll still have a radius of the circle. Okay.